Hi guys, I want to share with you just the fun and games that I've been up to this week as I've been pushing tissue paper and tea bags and recycling, repurposing a whole lot of bits and pieces that I've got in my stash which I hope you'll be able to put to good use in your stash too. Still working with, as I say, the tea bags and tissue paper, but slowly moving out to things that are a little bit more sculptural, like this item here. Roses on fabric tags, using thermoweb, heat and bond, um, basically um, painting and decorating our tea bags using different styles of glues that are available to um, put a different hue to our tea bags. Got myself my little wooden um, embosser and I'll explain the do's and don'ts not as successful as I had hoped. And also a tub of tomato puree. So in front of you we've just got a shoe form. So here's a vintage shoe form that I purchased and that would be the pair and I wanted to decorate it in some way and to do that I have an old skirt in my collection and so what I done was took this skirt that's got some lovely flowers on and just coffee stained it up so it's on netting it's a uh, way too decorative for myself but I thought I could put this to good use on this particular shoe form. If you follow me on Instagram you will see that I've been playing around with hanging this shoe form and also putting it on this particular base. Now what it's got, it's got Tim Holtz tissue paper on this wonderful bendy piece of metal and I have covered the back with tissue paper and first before putting the tissue paper on I covered it in good old fashioned tea bags then hit it with a little bit of distress ink and the glue that I've been using for all my projects has been good old glossy mod podge it has really been an absolute dream because I have struggled to get a glue that would go over a metal background so I don't know how you feel about this particular item obviously it's just one sheet of metal which in this case just sits in that little section of this shoe and to actually get the piece of metal it has come from a tomato puree tube now they tell me or my mum reassures me that in the mixed media and textile world that you can actually sew into this strip of metal so I have naturally washed it as you can see it's all crinkled please be aware it is sharp once you cut into it so it will will damage you if uh, you get caught on it now as I said I haven't sewn into it I've just literally taken Mod Podge and a little bit of blue acrylic paint so there's a little bit of a blue hue going on there and then glued tissue paper straight over the top let it dry then came along and Mod Podged and then put tea bags across and because I've been making lots of projects of these tea bags using tissue paper and being a little bit selective on what images I've wanted I've had scraps like so which I've been gluing onto this fabric but I used the scraps just some of them to go onto the back just to add a little bit more interest so that is how I came about using the tomato puree container you know about the netting because that is part of the coffee stained skirt then we have a good old fashioned pipe cleaner here. This is a tea bag which I've stamped and because I kept the section which is where it is actually sealed I've managed to put the pipe cleaner inside the tea bag so it's one bit is blank the other bit's got the tea bag on or the stamp on. I've put some rhino stones on and we've just layered up 
I've just got this little B at the bottom and I've just layered it up three stamps and just put a little section of foam dots just to make it a bit more raised. I've got this butterfly here and there's three sections going on there. And when that sits on top of the pizza base, yet again, playing around with the fact that the Mod Podge will stick tissue paper. Some of this is actually pattern paper from sewing that I put on. I've just got um, this stamped little lady there. She hasn't been glued on to the base yet. And I've just got some old sewing in Femra. So as you can see here, that is a polystyrene. And I was thinking this could also possibly work as a pin board. I haven't stamped on it. This is just purely hit it with a little bit of distress ink, as you can see around the outside edges. And you can see it's got a glossy finish going on there. Okay, so that's my base and my little tomato puree on my shoe form and more tea bags. Let's move that out of the way. So here we have some fabric. If you just bear with me, I will answer that and come straight back. So we're looking at some rusty fabric here. It literally has, it's an old sheet. It's not the best quality sheet in the world. It's quite um, thin on the linen side of it, but it's taken quite well to the rust. And so what I done was um, hand cut a tag as such. And then I've had this sitting around for some time. And as you can see, see the rusty bits on the back? You can even see where I just caught the outside edge where they've actually turned it over. And I just took a glue stick, just a um, basic glue stick, and started sticking down some of the torn tissue pieces. Then I found a little piece of um, sewing pattern paper which didn't have any printing on it. It was just sort of like a big sheet of bare paper in the middle of the pattern which I just tea stained. Then I put, I just glued that once it was dry over the top just to add a little bit more coloration. Then I took some of the round tea bags and very similar to another one that I've done in my collection on the trifold, I was trying to make a similar style of round rose. I did have leaves on this one, but the leaves were just too cumbersome. And then I also used just a Sharpie just to highlight what I call the stem and then a few more smaller screwed up pieces of tea bag. And I just liked the little bit of tissue paper, the decorative in the centre. So that's another thing that I've been up to. Now, talking about heat and bond or thermo web, um, I think is known as another basically the glue product that you use to iron on to the bottom of your hem it's more of a no sew style of um, product we've got here the backing and on top we've got the glue and on top of the glue i use gold metallic paint acrylics and red acrylic and just painted over the top of the glue and left it to dry i didn't do the most wonderful job apparently what I should have done was made it a lot wetter and then it really would have crinkled up come the next day but not to worry I've had this in my stash for some time and I just wondered what it'd be like to go over a tea bag so taking the tea bag I originally you will see underneath there is some decorative tissue paper so I covered the entire sheet of this little tea bag with tissue paper. Then I came along and I cut and physically ironed a section right over the top. I didn't like the fact it actually covered so much of the decorative um, tissue paper that I felt I needed to actually put more tissue paper over the top. So I mean yes you could just paint the tea bag but I'm just experimenting and just finding different ways I did put a little bit of the um, residue on the back of this tea bag and then put the printed over the top. I'm just playing, so I'm not 
saying that that works very well, but it's just something I've done. Found some fibres, yet again, same principle. These fibres have just literally been ironed onto a piece of bonder web, thermo web, and you can see what I've done is use the Mod Podge, and we've got a glossy sheen, and just use some more bits of the scrappy old tissue paper to go on top. And what I'll probably do is that can be sewn into really quite easily, but you've got a nice firm base there, and so I can make some decorative tags accordingly. So that's just silk fibres that have gone on over here. In my collection of glue sticks, this one happens to dry with the red hue and that is also one they do and it was right about Christmas when I picked these up and this one does a yellow hue. So with my glue sticks I tried using plain Brit stick and then you've got the red. So this automatically gave me a red finish when dry. So you can see it's just like a distress ink with the tissue paper, but just that will be underneath the tissue paper as it's glued the tissue to the tea bag. So that's another thing that I've been having a go at. Then lastly but not least is me using a heat tool for decorating wood onto these two tea bags. So this is exceedingly hot because it's supposed to literally burn into the wood and I've got some decorative little ends onto it. Not a great idea to use on tea bags, fire hazard without any shadow of a doubt and to be honest with you you could probably get the better result if you just drew onto the tea bag. I've highlighted um, where it's, it's actually burnt in, where you can see the black, that's not pen ink, that is actually me using the tool, and then I've highlighted with my white pen gel pen. But in reality, even though I have pressed the tool in and then highlighted again in white, and I've even written using the tool, but um, in all honesty, I have not found an effective way. I just think it is a dangerous thing to play with. But I had a go. It's just more experimentation. Well, guys, that just keeps you up to speed, up to all the things that I get up to as the week is progressing. I hope you found that of some interest, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.